Hello, welcome guys. Um, just want to do a little um, build overview really and a couple of minor mods I've made for the uh, LTE RS Rambler. Um, first of all, great looking model, really uh, quite impressed with it so far. Just on the build side of things, it goes together super easy. I mean, literally, everything comes pre installed. This is the plug and play version. Um, well, there's a kit version, which is obviously just the airframe. Crazy cheap on Banggood, uh, yeah, Banggood at the moment, been almost halved in price. I think the kit version is under £70 um, and under 100 for the plug and play, which I think it's a bargain really considering. Um, okay so what have I done to start with? This is the original, a friend of mine has one of these and his came which was I believe the Mark 1 uh, which came with black wings, uh, black canopy, black um, vertical stabiliser. Obviously as you can see this is the all white version. So first off um, I was going to laminate the wings but for some, even, even with a clean down and a light sanding, my laminate film wasn't playing ball and uh, wasn't sticking convincingly. So I scrapped that idea uh, and basically just gave a, a, a complete cover over with two inch clear tape, which has given it a nice sort of wipe free finish. Added a little bit of stiffness of the done top and bottom of the wing, um, just gives it a, you know, a nicer, smoother finish and adds a little bit of strength obviously uh, on, on top of that just some regular green and orange tape just to give a little bit of colour um, and that's pretty much it really as far as the outside other than the obvious which you may have spotted uh, being the wing tips which I've added I've seen you know various reviews on this saying it's got a little bit of waggle to it, but in fairness, I've got a bunch of forward swept wings and they all waggle a degree or two, you know, depending on how you're flying them, um, which just seems to be the nature of the beast. But my first thought as soon as I saw this model was, wow, there's not a lot of vertical fin on that. Um, as you can see, it's, it's not humongous. So even before I got this model, I had the idea, um, I mean I like messing about with things anyway, so I had the idea of just adding some winglets. Now these, crude as they are at the moment, they're just a mock-up testing sizes and whatnot. Um, they're just a little bit of foam board. The, uh, I think it's, I'm not sure, three, four mil foam board. And um, just covered in a bit of black duct tape for now. And then I've put these on using Velcro. So I can fly with or without them. Or if I did want to pack it down because the wings come off via two little knurled thumb screws. You can take the wings off, I can pop the winglets off and slide them in a bag for instance for transport. Um, and then back on again, easy peasy. So that's uh, that's the outside covered, I think, pretty much. Um, the front comes with this um, this mesh doohickey stuff, okay, which in principle is nice, lets a bit of air flow in, but the negative side is uh, every time you land in a bit of dirt or wet grass or whatever, everything's just going to get sucked up inside there. So I scrapped that option. Um, it also comes with a little foam mount that you can put a run cam on and then there's another version of that but it just looked Mickey Mouse um, so again a little bit of foam board cut to shape covered in some uh, black duct tape to give it some strength and then that's gone in in the front there excuse the silly teeth I was bored last night uh, and inside there I have a run cam split just to keep the weight down so internals obviously not much to see there as I always do 
Velcro on the base. I never rely on just these straps because uh, you know things move about. But I had a layer of Velcro on the floor. I always have it on all of my batteries, locks in, even without the strap. To be honest, I rarely bother with the strap. Um, let me see. There's the run cam split. So that's that. Um, I'm planning because this comes plug and play. This version I've got. And it comes with a motor which is a 2216 and that claims to be a 1300 kV. Now, any of you guys out there will know Sunny Sky as a brand. And this looks to me, it kind of feels it as well, like a clone of a Sunny Sky. But Sunny Sky don't make a 1300 kV in that size, so it's a bit of a meh, bit of an odd one. Um, and this looks very similar to the Zod motor that came on the XL Dart, I believe it was. That several guys had trouble with magnets dropping out and whatnot. And my one, I'm not sure if you can pick that up, but doesn't sound particularly smooth. So from the get go, I've ditched that option. And as I had one, I had a nice T motor, which I've uh, put on there. And I'm planning. Hopefully, because we've got a bundle of these sitting around doing nothing, is to run this on 6S. So I've gone with a lower KV, that's a thousand KV, um, 2216. And hopefully, that will still be okay on 4S if I just up the prop a little. It comes with a 9x5, I think it is, folding prop. Um, I'll have a I'll have a play around and see what that feels like power wise with the lower KV on 4S but ultimately I'll be going 6S I'm just waiting on a, a bigger ESC to turn up actually I thought I had one but it's only 4S capable so um, so I can mess about with props and experiment a little bit I've got a 10x7 and a 10x8 there that I might also try I'm not particularly a fan of folding props um, especially as this one doesn't come with a stop um, so there's nothing to stop the props coming in and chewing the back of your wing off which I've seen on more than one occasion um, it's easy to make with a little bit of um, like a credit card material a little plastic and you can just make a little block that sits under that stops these props go passing that point uh, very easy. I'll probably I will put one on before I test this. So anyway, there's the sunny sky. Uh, straight swap. Way smoother. You do get what you pay for with motors. Um, what else is there? That's about it for the front end. Not really much to tell on this model, to be honest. So in the back there, I've got um, TBS Crossfire. Mounted under the lid there with enough cables that I can lift the lid off. Um, Matek F411 wing board in there, uh, one in the stock ESC at the moment, but that will go shortly. Uh, waiting on a 60 amp Skywalker, which for the money I've had great luck with. The, you know, they're bulletproof and they're they're reasonably priced compared to some ESCs. So we've got the TPS Crossfire in the top, Matek 411 wing board, um, again Matek VTX, just running on the short coax to a true RC little stubby antenna. Um, and the GPS just set it aside there, which seems to be working on tests outside, seems to be working a treat so far getting quick satellite lock etc so more than happy with that so anyway guys just thought I'd have a little show of that because there's a couple of I know they're minor mods but maybe maybe give some ideas to somebody um, and hopefully I will get out soon oh, I was just going to show you batteries actually so this can obviously fly with a range of batteries from 5000 will balance perfectly obviously further forward 10,000 fits and will balance. I've tested all of these. 
obviously push back further it's around there if memory serves me right Right, there are CG balance markers just under the front of the wing there. It's a little nose heavy as I've put that, but not a mile off as you can see. And even with this hulking great 6S, which is part of the reason I wanted this model, is because I've got six or eight of these that aren't being used in any other models. So even that will slide underneath a tree. balance beautifully which I think will be quite a fun little model on 6s for you know, efficiency etc um, you may have spotted they've got different batteries on there different battery connectors simple fix for that is I just make up coming off the flight controller a little short pigtail come here it's very tight can't blind it there, so I can just swap that out for one with an EC5 on it if I want to run those batteries rather than chopping off wires, soldering on new plugs or coming right off the flight controller etc so simple little mod there for if you need to run different battery connector types <laughs> excuse me simple as that to install and then I can go back to the XT60 plugs um, on the bottom of this one, uh, for rhyme or reason, I have no idea why, um, it comes with this skid plate, okay, which you would expect to be a tough, tough, oops, a tough material like that, sort of Teflon hard plastic, but on this, it's actually a very thin foam, um, which strikes me as a peculiar choice of material, which is just going to grip the ground and get torn up and dirty, so I've just run Again, my good old two inch packing tape, three layers of that over the top. Um, so as that gets messed up, you can just peel it off and refresh that. So I think there you go, that's about it really. That's all I can show you on the LTE Rambler. Um, fingers crossed we'll get a nice bit of weather sortly and go out and give her a maiden. And then uh, hopefully, if all goes well, I can give you a little feedback on how she flies. Okay guys, well anyway, thanks for watching. Hope they help somebody, maybe. Um happy flying.